So this is a tutorial about turning a car from this into a line drawing where you can cut with your laser. First of all, we're going to draw it on my iPad. Add a new layer, make sure that layer is above the original. Turn the original down to about 80%, 70%. Choose your um, stylus or pen you want to use. I use a really small line and then just trace the details. You can obviously edit. I'm just doing this kind of roughly, but it will be the finished one. So you can play around with it. I'm doing all the main details, which I think um, when the customer, this is for a customer, when she cuts it out, she can um, paint these colors and all the details in that she wants. So I'm just doing the main details, the little light, and the wheels. I'm going to do the lid. I'm going to do some score lines in here as well, um, in case, obviously, with the different colours. I'm just going to do the, ro the roof there. It can be a different bit. And then, then you've got these. Now, these can either be sections. This is where the lights pop up. They can have a score line or it can be um, a separate piece when she cuts it out. That's a score line with the, with the hump of the arch of the wheelers. So we just carry on going through here. Just take your time to take the details that you want. Just checking every now and again that you're still doing what you want. I'm going to speed up now. This takes me around 15 or 20 minutes to do, um, depending on the, the complexity of the job. And then I pop it into light burn when it's done. Now when you're in light burn, um, you can trace your image, put, put it into a vector form. So you just trace it just zoom in and check all the bits. See, this bit hasn't actually caught. So just play with them um, with the um, the controls at the bottom until it's selected everything that you want it to select. There's some bits here. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, I thought that would happen. So at the front here, you can see that those um, the light isn't quite joined. But when I trace it, I'll show you closer. This can be edited, which will do that. And we can straighten this bit up here. So we just ungroup the nodes, ungroup the, the thing, and then you can edit the nodes. So you can do command and a ta um, apostrophe, or you can just click on the nodes itself here. <clears throat> now I'm going to go through now and delete the lines I don't want and edit the lines because all I need is a single line. So this is all going to be single. Um, so I'm going to go through and edit what I need to edit and delete the nodes that I need to. To add in a new node is option command, I believe. Um, and you can press a D. This is in light burn. So D to delete. And then S is to sort of shape or smooth. So if a node is like on a square corner, you can you can move it. I'm just going to join these up so I can see what I'm doing and then I'll zoom out. Now I don't need these second lines, but I need to add in that line to make it a solid, uh, a cut from the top to the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll just go through. Here you need to make sure that the lines extend to the outer line getting rid of that second line. It is awkward, it does take time, and you will be undoing things quite a few times just to make sure that you get them right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the nodes and then start deleting bits as we do it. And then I'm going to extend, whoops. Sometimes if you press extend, it does the back. I'm not too sure why, but so just extend that line and then you're gonna delete one of these ones. I'm going to keep that line there and delete this one here. 
and then I've got to join the top together. Now on a corner, I tend to um, make it a straight corner, delete the round bit and then join these and then do like a section. Now when you're doing this, it's not going to be something that you can put into fill and, and etch. You only do that on a on the the car when it's got all the double lines. So before the editing. It is not a closed drawing. It cannot be because you've got lines intersecting with other lines. Just carry on doing this. You'll get to the point where you start seeing what you're doing. Um, it, it does take a while to to sort of know which bit to remove and which bit to but if you just go around each bit individually and again you can just input a node select it and then delete it with um, just the letter D on light burn it deletes just get it as close as you can so when the laser cuts it cuts to the line so it should snap to it most of the time if a node is red and you press D, it will delete it. So click on a, a, a different section and then it won't delete it. So it's kind of tedious, especially if you have a really complex drawing to make sure that you get the, the right like angle and, and stuff like that. And, and it's useful to also keep this bit goes over here. Oh, hang on. Somewhere here. So it's it's useful to keep the original bit as um, the original. Where is it? Oh, that goes there. Yeah, it's useful to keep the original drawing of the, the car that you're, um, or the shape you're doing that you've, uh, you've, that you've traced, just so you can go back and reference it. So I'm gonna go and have a look now. The front, that's just that bit there, so it just goes down like a little loop. All right, now let's come to this bit. So this bit I can totally delete, it's not touching anything. This bit here I need to edit because that circle there, I need to make a circle where the light, where the lamp is, the headlamp. So I need to connect this top bit, so delete all the rest down here. And then you can just join the top and then edit it, just move it slightly. If you press S, then it should make it like a smooth curvy bit so you can edit it. And just carry on deleting the nodes as required. This one I'm going to pull over here and then delete the un under part of it. Bring that back down to connect and then reshape it. You can just drag your nodes to what you like. And then that's that bit. And then this bit here is not touching anything. That's the lamp there. You can just see the headlight. Or the fog light I think it is. And just delete that. So I'm, I'm using a Mac. So on my Mac you can do um, backspace and it will delete. So I'm going to put this line in here. And this will separate these two bits at the front. Just curve it off and then you can totally delete that. And you can totally delete this one as well. There we go, so that's the front part of the car. And then I don't need the inner part, so I can totally delete that and I can totally delete that. And now I'm just gonna do a fast forward for you because it does take a while to edit all the nodes. And there's some score lines I'm putting on the back seats there. You can just see their single lines there to be score lines. Or you can use them as a cut line, um, which is if you're using your Dremels quite good um, because it will leave an, uh, quite a good indent for your, your depth and stuff. And kind of like half an hour later, you'll see what it looks like when I've finished. 
and obviously you can use your car as a reference as well. Just coming to the end now, sorting out the steering wheel, making it a little bit rounder, detaching the um, the wing mirror, and then we're about there. Just doing this back wheel now. If you've got any questions at all, I'm more than happy to help you at any time. You just can message me or contact me on Facebook on Bean and Berry Products. Let's sort the back out here. 